Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Ashish and you are watching my YouTube channel. This is the second part video of MDT deployment toolkit. So in this video, we'll see how to deploy operating system using MDT. For demo purpose, we are using VMware Workstation. We'll quickly create a test work virtual machine without an ISO file so that we can boot through the PXC server and deploy the operating system. So for demo purpose, we will use UEFI BIOS, not the traditional one. So now power on the machine and select EFI network as a boot device so that virtual machine can be boot, booted from PXC server. So we have to provide admin credential here. Before that, we will change the IP setting because my default DNS server is not pointing to my domain controller. Since this is the test bench, I'm not using the default dns as a my domain controller so i manually specify the dns as my active directory server if you don't set this dns it will not accept your credentials so make sure that your dns is pointing to your active directory server Since this is the test bench, I am using administrator account. Select the task sequence. Provide some general information about the machine. Select the application which you want to deploy along with the task sequence. And now installation is begin. This will take couple of minutes so we will come back after some time.
you can see after restart uh, windows start booting for first time and uh, once window logged in our task sequence will automatically get launched look task sequence is automatically started and it will start deploying the application as well we have defined two application one is ms office and another one is nanite.com so through nanite we we were able to we will able to deploy a couple of application like chrome firefox and 7 zip So without doing anything, our application will get installed automatically. So this is how we can inject our drivers based on the model number. This is how we can uh, we can define all the software library which we want to install, and uh, we can create a custom image also. We can capture the custom image from a master computer, and then we can deploy through the WDS server.
so we'll get the task sequence completed message but our ms office installation is still going on So we got the installation finish message and let's quickly reboot the machine to check that everything is work fine. Before that we can open some application to check. Let's quickly restart the machine. So that is it. This is how we can we see how we can deploy our operating system using MDT. Thank you for watching. For more such video, please subscribe and press the bell icon button. Thank you so much.